Welcome to Sports Central. This is the show that guarantees you your weekly fix in sports action. But you already knew that, right? <laughs> you definitely already knew that. So do this, just kick your feet up, relax. Of course, we've got you sorted when it comes to everything sports. Hey, don't move a muscle. We're your host, Mike Mondo. And I'm one, Jira Langauer. Take all Mike's advice. Let's do this. We've got quite a show in store for you. On to some rally action as Guru Nanak market the last episode of the 2016 season of the Kenya National Rally Championship. One this morning was also very nice and dry, uh, also a little slippery in a few places. Uh, stage two was perfect. Uh, the only issue we're having being first on the road is we're having way too many animals um, crossing. Uh, we have plenty of zebras, uh, plenty of kangas, so uh, the many a times we have had to, where you'd be in fifth gear going flat out, we're actually slowing down to almost second gear and losing lots of time there. But apart from that, we're, we're enjoying it, it's really good. Very rocky, very rough. Uh, already we passed a few cars that, that retired already. Uh, They're all good? Yeah, if you push, you make a mistake, uh, you're going to hit your car. The Cagliotto rally had some really nice roads and then uh, what, what was really good was they, um, they, they, they made an effort to close some public roads. You know, to rally in this country, we just can't come to farms all the time. So. So, so we need to make efforts to close the public roads and they did quite a good effort and it, once you started you can build on that so so yeah so, so it was good but also this is nice so it's it's all okay it's been a very great uh, season at uh, one point uh, we were tying in the championship and in the last two rallies uh, one Eldoret was a big blow where we did not finish uh, that really changed the whole game plan but we are very happy with the team and we're very happy with my pace uh, we're, we're doing well, I mean the pace is there, Yeah. so the rest we just leave it to the rally gods to decide the, the luck. And even though Finland's Tapio Laukinen had already bagged the season's title, over 40 crews looked to challenge the course and when the dust settled, it was Rajbir Rai navigated by Greg Steed in a Ford Fiesta R5 who emerged the winner. A double for Rajbir who had recently won the Kitangela rally in Kajiado, while Jasprit Chate and Ian Duncan had to settle for second and third respectively. We were good in the first stage and then we managed the lead in the Suisamu stages and then came back for that stage again and yeah, we were reasonably quick so it was enough to get us the win. It was a good rally, um, yeah, I mean a lot of other people had problems so, but yeah, ours survived so it's good. We had some issues this year, it wasn't our most successful year. Um, one rally we were doing really well and I was sick and then, um, then the turbo blew at the beginning of one rally and then, then we broke the car in a ditch, the next one, so, so yeah, so at least this time it worked together. But, but yeah, we... I don't know what we're coming in the championship, maybe we're third, fourth or something like that. So I think we won Group N already, which is quite good. The 2016 National Hockey League has had its fair share of surprises, most notably being the Green Sharks who made it all the way to the playoffs. Well, no doubt indeed there was going to be a scramble for that trophy. So let's find out how it all unfolded. Ch -ch 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 check it out. With 
the finals of the Hockey League around the corner, Sports Central joined in the semi-final as Butali Sugar Warriors took on Green Sharks to determine the team that will face Strathmore in the finals. The Green Sharks mounted an impressive defence, but after a goalless first half, the Warriors regrouped, scoring twice for a full-time score of 2-1, setting up a finals date against Strathmore. Kucheza hii semifinal imekuwa ngumu kidogo kwa sababu timu zote zilikuwa zimefanya mazoezi kivilivyo na zilikuwa zimejitayarisha na umeona wale wamecheza na tulijua wanakuja sana sana kuchikimu upande wa mabao. Sasa tulijaribu lakini walikuwa na defend sana. So tulijua sasa tulikuwa tunajaribu kupitisha boli kila mahali kwa uwanja lakini baadaye wakati tulienda mapumzikoni tulijua penye tunafaa kuwatumia walikuwa wanakuja ku defend but si tulikuwa tunasema wacha tutafute mabao then baada ya kutafuta mabao ndio tutasonga aje jua mosi itakuwa ni final na ambayo tunaenda kujitayarisha wiki hii tuone itakuwaje eh, Strathmore ni vijana wadogo lakini ni wazuri sana ukiangalia in terms of physical wako vizuri sana so tunafaa kujitayarisha sana 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 ki tactical kwa sababu najua watakuja ni kukimbia sana. Season haija kuwa mbaya. E, kitu ambayo ningesema imekuwa season na mrefu sana. Ukiangalia timu zimekuwa ni chache, ni mechi ambazo tumecheza zimekuwa chache, but wame stretch sana. Ningependa kama siku zijazo kama wanaweza kama wanaweza kuwa napanga mapema, mapema so that to see stretch season sana. Surprise team of the team is Strathmore kiangalia vile walivyoanza ligi hii ilikuwa ni ngumu walianza chini sana lakini wakaweza kufika semi final na ndio hao wameweza kufika final sana uh, tuli expect itakuwa ngumu lakini majalewa tunashinda hiyo game so tuta prepare for i hope the next weekend to kutana na staff plan yetu ilikuwa kufunga mapema hiyo plan ka collapse so ideally team ikaanza ku collapse mentally so we half time to regroup tukaanza tena and fortunately to kapata hizo mabao mawili As always feel free to let us know how you think the finals will play out remember to use the hashtag #sportscentralke so as uh, we move forward to Strathmore we hope to move the ball faster into the empty spaces because uh, they run a lot so we will get this done by next week uh, and also work on our goalkeeper that should help us the season has been brilliant uh, we have scored 37 goals and conceded 6 That is something that we still need to score more. This is the Butali Warriors and you're watching Sports Central. One, two, three. Warriors! <laughs>Welcome back and just in case you're only tuning in now, you're watching Sports Central, the show that guarantees you your weekly fix of sports action. And what a year it has been, 2016, of course, for the Kenya 15s rugby with great performances both home and away when we hosted Uganda and Hong Kong. And that's why I'm so excited that Sports Central got to catch up with Simon Muniafu, a forward for Impala RFC who also plays for the Kenya national team. I started rugby at 15. 
which is quite late for most people. But I got a chance to go to New Zealand, Christchurch. St. Beats College had a rugby program for eight months. So I did a rugby diploma with them. And that's where my rugby career started kicking off. So I used to play flank over there. I used to play number seven. And I played there for one season. I came back here, I joined St. Mary's in Form 3. I played there for two years, two seasons actually. Then I joined the parlor. I would say it was playing against Uganda because I did play them uh, on, on my debut. So playing them at home was really the best thing I won. And it was actually one of my best games. Uh, if I would say about myself. Yeah. It did count. Uganda happens to be a physical side. Uh, but we do, we do have an extra edge on them when it comes to set play and set pieces. So that was the best part of the game, edging them out in that, in our strong, in our strong court. Against Hong Kong was also like, really good. Um, Hong Kong is actually was ranked higher than us, so it was a game to look for, and it was good like edging them out to the wing. <laughs> Apart from the fact that rugby has character, um, just self drive keeps me going, uh, knowing that I can be better and better every day through training and through playing games it makes me get hungry for more. And actually for me, rugby is an addiction. As a forward, you get to like, you get to bash people more. If you, if you really like contact like I do, you enjoy the pack. And the, the pack doesn't have too much running, and like the backs who run a bit too much. Usually we start our workouts during off season. Uh, we start mainly with rehab, making sure the injuries from the last season are not, are not there. Then you start our pre-season, which is usually about uh, six to eight weeks because of like the seventh season. Um, usually it's more of bulking up, making sure you have your cages up, you have your muscles tone up, hypertrophy, uh, exercises and all. And by the time you're in season is when you start doing power exercises to make sure you're more more powerful in contact situations, and the, that's, that, that's when we kick off our preseason tournaments like that. Like, for me, the games that make me cheek uh, one would be Queens in Pala, it's always like a derby day for us, so the mental starts like two to three weeks even before making sure you're pumped up for the game. And it's always a brag right for us. Uh, the two teams, we do feel like we won Gold Road, and the winner has to take it off. So it's a game full of pride. Um, apart from that, it will be any final that we play in. Uh, always look up towards final because it only happens once in, in the tournament. I do think uh, rugby is a special sport because it builds character and through the years of me playing rugby I've always made friends with the people I play with and those are memories and friends you never lose in your life. Apart from that I do think the ethics that you get from training and playing rugby such as teamwork, such as hard work and dedication and perseverance are really key in someone's life. Taking a look at that one, Jira, quite remarkable, don't you think? Absolutely. You know, I love his passion mm -hmm. for the sport. He really wants this to be on as professional level as possible. Yep, and kudos to him.
And also, after a year of some grueling and tough footballing action, players from different clubs in the Sport Pesa Super A Premier League got together this time round not to compete against each other, however, to celebrate their achievements in the gala dinner. And what a beautiful occasion it was. Of course, Sport Central had to be on ground to give you the scoop. So, feast your eyes upon this. to see you on a 2KPL hapa nyumbani na huko maju so leo pia sisi kudunga hivi tunasikia tuko pale juu ya mwezi munu huko juu hii ingo ya ingo inangoja katu ya occasion of late eh, vile nishinda hile ilikuina pumziki na fanya tu kazi kidogo sasa iliku imeweka kwa laundry imepumzika hapo lakini la, leo imetolewa rasmi juu ya hii imekua tunakanyaga na sana kwa kiwanja sawa aja tukuje tuone uh, today's award uh, gala really um, is, is a testament to our commitment and our dedication uh, to grassroots football. Um, it's also an aspirational uh, event where the young um, uh, players uh, can, uh, can aspire to bigger, brighter uh, things. If you really want to know the meaning of grassroots football, um, I think uh, the Super 8 tournament is a real example of grassroots football whereby it's unfortunate we even see more fans than at Premier League matches and for me it's uh, to tell the, the young players to keep on working harder and harder and we will be happy to see them uh, feature in the Kenyan Premier League and as well for our national team. Your best coach Wapinduru Shangwe Navigele Gele for Isaiah Omondi! but most importantly ata communities zime the benefit sababu kama team imeshinda mita mzima ama nusu mita ama 200k hiyo do haitaenda tu kwa team hiyo ni do itaenda mpaka kwa community kwa hivyo tuna like to celebrate the fact at super 8 extreme na sports pesa wamerudisha ball mtaani mali ball inafaa kuwa pia francis who is also not only the most valuable player but a coach as well for the same team that he plays for event imekuwa poa Tumetangamisha vijana, juni vitu wako wanaonaga, inawafulaisha sana. Uh, Waendele hivyo hivyo. And uh, today you've seen how the team was so happy. Because this is something uh, inspirational and uh, it is one of the best gala events we've ever uh, organized. We know here in Nairobi, football unites everybody. We know football creates opportunities. Tumeona teams kama Majengo uprising youth from getting Sport Pesa Super 8 awards to being landlords to owning matatus. We've seen other teams going into great entrepreneurship because of football. And that's why the county of Nairobi supports football. I want to thank all the sponsors. I also want to thank all the people who participated, I'm told about 110 teams participated, a total number of players, well over 2,000, and the total number of people who participated in one way or the other was well over 650,000. But the most, the most amazing thing on the finals, I'm told that we had close to 20,000 people at the finals at Nyayo Stadium. Skufi Moyo. Uh, indo, indo talent yangu, watu wanaona? Uh, hata watu wako wapo juu wameona, wamekuja wameniongelesha, wameona hii kitu hiko. So, sezi kufa mwere. Kayole Asubuhi and all of the other teams that have won tonight. Thank you so much for coming sahi, out. Bado, unajua, tuko kwa mood ya celebrations, but atuja lose focus, unajua next day itakuwa tougher and tighter. 
Um, I'd like to really, really thank uh, our title sponsor, Sportesa, together with all the other partners, uh, for the wonderful support that they've given us. Uh, to be quite honest, without that support, I don't think we'd be able to achieve um, uh, what we have uh, achieved so far. You're watching Sports Central. Keep it locked. Asubui! Asubui sana! I am so going to be at the next one. It's not even funny. Now, before we go anywhere, we need to show love to our tweeps. As always. Yep, and we're going to start off with John Shaquille. You're saying you always have fun with the lively duo. I guess he means both of us. Well, yeah. he has to. He absolutely mm -hmm. has to, and I'm here for it. Collins Juma, how you doing? Says that uh, recognizing what a lady can do in heels. <laughs> I'm guessing that's me. And yeah. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I walked right into that one, <laughs> Sawa. It's okay, but great stuff there. Hey, one, you know one thing, yep? Yeah? Mm -hmm. We've featured a lot of uh, martial arts on the show. We've yep. done a lot of boxing. Imagine you could do this. Imagine if you had robots do all the fighting and you just collect the trophy. Uh, mm -hmm. Come again? It sounds uh, like the future. Okay. <laughs> Let's just take a look at this. It's going to explain everything. Yep. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for that. What exactly just happened? That is the ultimate way to settle a beef, if you ask me. It yep. looks like the ultimate nerd convention, but it's That's, like cute. I'm here for it. Yeah, you should agree. I mean, and no it looks like bloody science noses. at its best, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no bloody noses. No bloody noses. Let the robots do it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. it's a suggestion that I can think about. In the meantime, it's time for us to, well, bid you adieu. But before we do, don't forget to talk to us on the TL. Hashtag Sports Central KE for Earth thing. Well, you ready, Mike? Yep. That's it. Mm -hmm. Until next time, keep, keep it, it Sports Central. Central.